Hey, what is up, mortals? It is Charlie Rowan here with a new video for you. In this video, we'll be explaining Ochiko Odoraka from the anime My Hero Academia. I just wanted to greet you guys by saying, just sit back and relax. You're in for a treat. So let's get started. Not much is mentioned about Odoraka's past, but we know that her parents run a construction company, although they haven't had a profitable business in years. This is because both her parents have unimpressive quirks, but Odoraka herself has a quirk strong enough to put her in class 1A. This made her determined to help her family out as much as she could, to the point where she could use her quirk to earn money for her family, although her father continually reminds her that they would be happiest if she achieved her dreams. This is what led her to UA High School, as she wishes to become a pro hero so she can help others and make enough money so her parents can live a comfortable life. Uraraka is one of the first members of Class 1A to appear in the show. She notices that Deku is about to fall and makes him float to prevent it. She apologizes for using her quirk on him without permission and admits how nervous she was to take the test. She wishes him luck and the two go to the trial. Uraraka scores 28 points during the practical part of the exam, but she gets caught under some debris and is close to getting crushed, but Deku comes in to save her but breaks his right arm and both legs in the process, making him free fall. Uraraka keeps him from falling once again, although the situation had gone up in intensity. After the exams, Uraraka approaches present Mike and asks if she can transfer some of her points to Deku, as she noticed that he had zero points, and she wished to repay him for helping her. Her request is denied, as he got enough rescue points to pass. He also informed her that because she got 45 rescue points, she was in third place. As a part of their hero training, they attend a hero basic training class run by All Might. He announces that they must pair up and fight match battles inside the buildings, one team being the hero, while the other groups are the villains. The students gear up, putting on their hero costumes for the first time. Uraraka is coincidentally assigned to a team with Deku. Their opponents end up being Bakugo and Ida. Uraraka is excited to start the fight, but notices how nervous he is, and she encourages him by proudly saying that they can win as a team. When they enter the building, Bakugo releases a surprise attack on the two, but Deku fights him back. Uraraka cheers him on until Deku tells her to go on ahead, and she does as told. She spots Ida attempting to get into character while guarding the fake bomb. This makes her giggle and exposes her from her hiding place. Ida states that there's nothing in the room that she can levitate. While he monologues, Uraraka lets Deku know that the payload is in the middle of the fifth floor. Uraraka makes herself float and attempts to grab the weapon, but Ida is too fast for her and keeps it out of her reach. The two come up with a plan when Deku uses his quirk to destroy the higher floors of the building. This allows Uraraka to use her quirk offensively by flinging stones at Ida. He dodges the attack, which gives Uraraka the chance to jump onto the the payload. She does as such and wins the battle. Ida is declared the MVP of the fight, and Uraraka and Denki go to check Deku into the infirmary, making sure he's okay. After the USJ incident, the students are told that they must prepare for the upcoming UA Sports Festival. Uraraka announces at lunch repeatedly how she's going to do her best. This makes Ida and Deku question why she wants to be a hero. Although embarrassed, she explains her motivation to the two. Deku is surprised to hear her reasoning, and Uraraka apologizes for sounding greedy. Ida supports her fully, as he is happy she is caring for her own needs. For the next two weeks, Uraraka trains her quirk and overall physical strength immensely. Soon, the first day of the festival arrives, and all the students participate in the first round, which is an obstacle course. Uraraka gets through the doorway, although a blockade of villain bots stopped Todoroki's ice attack. She uses one of her special moves, skill release, to get past the bots and move on to the second part of the race. Uraraka gets frustrated by the next obstacle, Questioning when the school had time to build such a thing, she notices Tsuyu and Mei Hatsume from the support class get across quickly, which motivates her to continue. She finishes in 16th place, allowing her to move on to the second round of the festival, the cavalry battle. After the rules are explained to them by midnight, Uraraka suggests to Deku that they should team up, as they agree that it's better to work with friends. They also ask Ida, but he declines, wishing to defeat Deku and instead joins Todoroki's team. They recruit Mei and Fumikage, completing their team. They are immediately targeted by the other teams, and can avoid their attack until Ida uses one of his special moves to steal Deku's headband. He counters this by using his quirk to attack Todoroki head-on, stealing one of his headbands in the chaos. They quickly realize that he grabbed the wrong headband, and they attempted to attack again, but they had run out of time. However, Fumikage reveals that he stole one of Todoroki's headbands, putting their team in fourth place and qualifying for the finals. A fan service scene later, Midnight draws lots to pick the matchups, which resulted in Uraraka going against Bakugo. She is shocked to hear that Bakugo doesn't know who she is, even though they're in the same class. Ida spots how nervous she looks looks, and she admits that she's scared of going up against Bakugo. Deku offers to help her, but she quickly declines, explaining how embarrassed she was about how she relied on Deku too much during the cavalry battle. She decided she wanted to follow Nita's footsteps and become more independent. Uraraka does a thumbs up, telling Deku that they'll meet in the finals. The final fight of the first round begins, and Bakugo tells her to withdraw, as he wouldn't hold back, and she denied his request and went into the battle, using her jacket as a feint and approaches him from behind as an attempt to touch him, but he quickly reacts and blasts her away. She continues to rush 
toward him, making Bakugo use counterattack after counterattack. She finishes when she has collected enough rubble from his explosions and releases them onto him. Although her plan fails, and he blasts all the debris away, she collapses from exhaustion, making Bakugo the winner. Although she lost, her parents tell her how proud they are of her and how she will become a great hero. When the festival ends, they hold a surprise party to celebrate how well she did. Uraraka participates in multiple battles to make her more robust, and as her career as a hero in training continues, the more exams she has to take, one of which is the hero qualification exam, but they go against other heroes in training from two different schools. The first round is a simple game, its purpose being to slim down the number of students. Class 1A manages to defend themselves until they're separated. Uraraka looks for her classmates and spots Deku being attacked by Kami from Shiketsu High School. Hanta and Uraraka are able to push her back, and she retreats. Deku decides not to chase after her and asks the two if they are themselves. He reveals that Kami was disguised as Uraraka, which embarrasses her. The three hide and discuss their strategy. Deku decides to act as a decoy, so Hanta and Uraraka can eliminate as many examinees as possible. They eliminate six, which was enough of the three of them to pass. All of 1A pass the first phase. Uraraka is about to tell Deku something, but the second round starts. For this, the students have to partake in a mock rescue mission. Deku helps an injured child, making Uraraka reflect on her relationship with him, realizing that she has a crush on him. However, she knew that she had to focus on becoming a hero before anything else. With this in mind, she sprung into action. She becomes a part of a rescue team led by Momo, and together the team helps civilians who got trapped under rubble. Due to her excellent work and coordination, she passes the exam and gets her provisional hero license. She expresses how happy she is that her and Deku passed when she noticed his crying. Uraraka's appearance is that of someone who is short and slender with a feminine build, and a distinct blush on her cheeks. Her eyes and hair are brown, and she has a pink paw on the top of the inner segment of each finger, which she uses to activate and deactivate her quirk. Much like other female students, Uraraka wears the UA uniform, although she wears black tights instead of typical knee-high socks worn by other students. As for her hero costume, she wears a black bodysuit with a pink design down the middle of her torso, along with two black circles on her chest and a black triangle running between her legs. There are pink patches on her shoulders, cut off by dark pink armbands that match her choker. She has circular wrist guards that have a dark pink handle on the back of each. Her knee-high boots are wide with magenta soles, and she has a two-piece belt around her waist, which are connected by a circular piece in the center. She sometimes wears a helmet with a tinted visor, which is entirely pink. The accessories are designed to put pressure on acupuncture points, and her costume wasn't meant to be as skin-tight as it is, as she wasn't specific in her design request. Her costume is later upgraded so her arm gauntlets now shoot grappling hooks, her belt being altered, and her visor was removed. In terms of personality, she is considered the most laid-back out of all her classmates, being bubbly and airheaded. She is incredibly blunt, though she's unaware of this, and her reactions tend to be exaggerated and humorous. She finds certain people amusing and struggles to keep her laughter in because of it. She is very warm and lively. She tries to think as positively as possible, although this doesn't stop her from noticing the flaws of others and their situation. Uraraka is very empathetic, friendly to pretty much everyone she meets, and she would do her best to defend those who have been kind to her. She is very good at understanding others, especially when her classmates are acting stranger than usual. Because of these traits, she gets on well with all her classmates, but is specifically close to Midoriya, Ida, and Suyu. When the situation calls for it, she can take on a focused, determined, and intimidating attitude. This side of her personality comes to a surprise for those used to her bubbly nature, and this side of her only comes out in competitive situations, such as the UA Sports Festival. She is incredibly strategic, but also makes reckless and impulsive decisions during battles. As a hero, she dislikes being underestimated, even if her opponent is more powerful than her. Because she comes from a poor household, she appreciates little things in life, to the point where she completely loses her composure when faced with luxury. As expected, she is quite stingy when it comes to money, where she goes to extreme lengths to save money, such as skipping meals to buy food at a later date. Her parents are the main reason that she wants to be a hero, as she can earn enough money to give them a stable life. She is frank about this motivation and isn't afraid to hide it from others, although she does find it embarrassing. Although Uraraka wanted to be a hero even before she realized her family's financial struggles, she admired how they could make people smile. As a hero, she prefers rescue over anything else. This shows in her admiration of 13, who is an expert in the area. She is aware of her lack of physical ability, which is why she chose Gunhead for her internship, which would help her build her fighting repertoire. This has made her a more instinctive fighter. She is inspired by all her classmates, but mostly looks up to Midoriya as she appreciates his strength and compassion. This also made her develop feelings for him, and she wishes to follow in his footsteps to become a better person. However, she understands that she must put heroism above her feelings as a priority, and she does her best to continue to grow. Uraraka cares deeply for her classmates and does whatever she can to assist them, making her an important ally. As for her abilities, she at first doesn't seem as strong as the others in her class, but this doesn't stop her from getting third in the UA entrance exam and tenth in quirk apprehension test. Her primary battle technique is when she gets close to her opponent and uses her quirk to make her opponent's fighting abilities weaker. She also uses her quirk to perform projectile attacks using wreckage around the area. She can also use her quirk to make herself level 
levitate, making her one of the strongest girls in her class. The spotlight is on her during the UA Sports Festival, where she had a one-on-one -on -one battle against Bakugo, one of the most vital members of her class. Although she knew she was no match for him, Uraraka put her all into the fight, and she was able to catch Bakugo off guard. Due to her internship with Gunhead, Uraraka gained fast reflexes, allowing her to pin Himiko Toga to the ground when she attempted to attack her. Uraraka's abilities caught the attention of Nejire Hado, one of UA's big three, who chose Uraraka and Suyu to intern alongside her under Ryukyu. After this, she injured Neitu Monoma, even dodging a surprise attack he attempted after she had defeated him. After this fight, she swiftly defeated Reiko Yanagi and Yui Kodai with a single attack each. Due to intense training, Uraraka got an increase in stamina. This was taken by her temporarily by trigger-enhanced Rikia, but she could still hold her own for 20 minutes until the drug wore off. Though she isn't one of the brightest students of Class 1A, she makes up for it with her strategic mind and ability to decipher an enemy's weaknesses in combat style soon after the battle begins. An example of this is when she realized Kurogiri's weak spot was his neck armor. She used this to her advantage and was able to get Hanta and Rikido to subdue the villain for some time. Others don't necessarily believe in her abilities, assuming that she gets her strategies from other people, but she has demonstrated great strategic ability on her own merit. This was seen when she didn't accept Midoriya's offer to help her during the UA Sports Festival. Bakugo even notes that if he hadn't used his full power when he realized her strategy, she would have defeated him. She has a very keen eye. Being able to notice that Nato wears multiple watches to keep track of how much time he has to use a copied quirk. Uraraka's quirk gives her the power to nullify gravity's effects on solid targets, both living and non-living, by touching them with the pads of her fingertips. This causes the targets to become weightless and float. She can cancel the effect of her quirk when she presses her fingertips together. Her quirk is suitable for restraint, as those affected are unlikely to fight back. She takes advantage of ravaged areas by gathering wreckage, which she can use against destructive quirks. Uraraka's quirk's main drawback is that if she lifts something more than three tons or floats herself, she will suffer from severe nausea. However, through training, she has reduced nausea and increased the weight limit, while also levitating herself for short periods without experiencing any nausea. Her quirk also has some special moves, the first of which is skill release, which is when she presses her fingertips together, making anything she had touched to stop floating. She first used this in the UA entrance exam on the villain bots and on Deku, preventing him from falling to death. She also has meteor shower, which is when a large amount of rubble floats around her. Uraraka can create a meteor of debris above her opponents, which she then releases on top of her enemies. She famously used this in her fight against Bakugo during the UA Sports Festival. Another one of her special moves is Meteor for Thrat Skies, when she teams up with Suyu to perform a more robust and multi-ranged version of Meteor Shower. This was first used during their internship with Gigantification. There is also the Home Run Comet, when Uraraka makes some rubble and a pillar weightless, and uses the pillar to hit the debris at her enemy, which replicates baseball players hitting the ball. She used this move to distract Ida during the battle trial. Lastly, when Uraraka removes her gravitational pull, she can jump higher and make herself more mobile. Thank you all for indulging yourselves in all this information thus far. I hope you enjoyed it. Now there's a few more things that I'd like to go over before the video ends. Firstly, if you're in the mood for some great storytelling, We The Celestials has got you covered. Our We The Celestials My Hero Academia and Naruto What If channels retell the story of their namesake anime with a twist. Check it out if you're interested. Secondly, on behalf of We The Celestials, I'd like to thank everyone involved in the production of today's awesome content. Their details can be found in the description below. Lastly, if you're interested in what we do here at We The Celestials, then I'd like to extend you an invitation to join the team. The only caveat being that we only accept members from 16 years and up to join our crew. You can sign up for whichever category fulfills your interests by joining the recruitment discord using the link in the description below. We're always looking for members to join us. Well, that's it from us for today's video, so thank you all for watching, and have a great day!